time is it? It's fight time. Welcome to Legacy Boxing Showcase of New Mexico. I'm your host, Dennis D.C. Chavez, and we got a great show coming down tonight. Three rounds of great stuff. I got to tell you something. This is sponsored by Legacy Promotions, Pettis Collision, voted best of the best. I got to tell you, uh, ProView Network, Channel 26. Also catch us on YouTube. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the Hall of Fame inductees that uh, just went on this past weekend. Mike Adams, Charles Poison, and Naya. Sergio, Sergio Chavez, uh, Earl Large, um, Chris Linson, and Luis Chavez. Also, we had some negative vibes. Austin Child, our world champion, he lost. And Fidel, uh, 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 the Trisco kid, Maldonado, uh, gave it it all, and he didn't get the W. But we still love him. St we, still, we still represent them. We still got their back. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you something. If you guys are into MMA and boxing and all that kind of stuff, like we are here in the uh, Legacy Showcase of New Mexico, Boxing Showcase of New Mexico, uh, there's, a, there's a young man out there. He's a great sports writer. He has a, a show on the same uh, ProView network, and he started a couple of years ago, and he's been grinding it out, and he's a great writer, and he has a nice show called Caged Minds MMA, and I want to introduce him. He's a, a guest here today. On, on, on the show, on Legacy Boxing Showcase of New Mexico. I got to tell you something. Uh, Mika Franco. What up, Mika? How are you doing? It's Micah, DC. Oh, yeah, I said Miko, no, Miko. <laughs> Micah, how are you? I'm doing good. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here because, you know, uh, we're trying to uh, cover all aspects, mostly boxing, but we have the MMA. You know, I've, I'm involved with uh, some people in MMA. And I got to tell you, people got to know you. We only, got, we only got eight minutes, so we want to talk to you. How did you get started, man? Being a fan, everybody starts off as a fan. You start off watching the fights, and it's that spark inside of you when you're watching it, that excitement. It attracts you, and it makes you want to become part of the sport. Now, for a lot of people, it's getting active. For some people, it's still being a fan. For me, I thought it was that this sport and these sports, actually, all together, I'm talking about MMA, kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing, that they're all great, that the athletes are spectacular, that they all have these individual stories that need to be told and need to be gotten out there. But unlike, bo or unlike basketball, baseball, and football, there wasn't a lot of mainstream media coverage. So how could you improve it? Well, if you have the idea, you have to take it upon your own shoulders to do it. I was reading a magazine one time called Fighters Only, and they have a, a writer from the UK, Garrett A. Da or Garrett a. Davies. He's still around now covering the sport on a bigger level on the UFC and Bellator level. He said, if you want to get involved with covering the sport, go out there and do it. So I took it upon myself to do that and I started off by talking about upcoming fights talking about predicting upcoming fights that led to a, uh, a website that's no longer really locally functioning Nux uh, asking me to become a writer and once I outgrew what we were doing there cageminds.com became its own self uh, that evolved into getting a spot here with on ProView Networks nice. with Red Menace TV doing right. the Cage Minds segment. Nice. We have the Cage Minds Uncensored podcast. So just working a ton to contribute to covering the sports of combat sports locally and globally. That's one great answer. Wow, I didn't know that. You know, because I, I just know you, you know, in the ring and around the ring. Um, do you have any favorite locals here that you love? Everybody. I, I really can't pick and choose on the local side. I mean, we got the card coming up co here in the couple weeks that we're going to talk about. And Brian Mendoza can't tell you how many times I've been ringside for his fights. Same thing with Matthew Griego, seeing the comparisons, seeing the fanfare he had as an amateur, seeing the Sanchez brothers when we unfortunately right. you know, we still had Elon around. I mean, seeing them going to the press conferences, seeing Angelo Leo, the first person I think I was the first yeah. one to interview him as a professional, taking him on the side at a Johnny Tapia Promotions event as he's making his pro debut, and to see where that young man's come from on the boxing side. Side, and even on the MMA side, the worst night for me and the best night is fight night because every time I'm watching a fight, somebody that I have an emotional connection to wins and loses. So you have to try to maintain that being impartial, yes. but you still learn and hang out with all of these fighters so much that they become friends, they become family. Yeah, you get and tight. it's hard, yeah. It's really, you know, uh, what do you think of the transition? We, have, we had a couple of uh, MMA fighters crossing over to the square circle, and uh, they're doing okay, but not great. What do you think about those transitions? It's bravery. It's definitely a Boom. brave task to do because it's not 
apples to apples. It's not a green apple to a red apple. Because you're throwing punches and just because they can both happen in a cage or both happen in a ring does not make them equal sports. As Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather showed, there are levels to this stuff and there are differences. MMA, you're going to take maybe 10 amateur fights, but you might have 10 years of wrestling or jiu-jitsu before that. Boxing, you may have up to like 200 amateur fights, right. depending on how many you get into. Some of these kids, like we've seen, like Shariah Maru coming up. So you can't have a ton of experience, so there's that much that leads into what you're seeing in the cage. Some of these guys do it on short notice and do it just out of bravery and out of guts. There's probably no, no more fearless fighter here in the state than the Pettis brothers. You got Derek Pettis and Gene Pettis. They will jump in the cage, jump in the ring, and fight every top prospect in this state. But you can see that technically they're not on that same level because they do jump back and forth so much. And it's one of those examples that it is hard to be top level at both of those sports. They both deserve their individual time. But it is awesome that MMA incorporates some of those boxing factors, so you do need to have a sport, respect for that sport. And it, you know the boxing scene, but you really know MMA, man. So, like, uh, who are your favorites in MMA uh, currently right now? Well, currently right now on the local scene we're talking yes. about, you got to look at Harvey Park. He's the top upcoming fighter out of Clovis, New Mexico from force of one, nine and one as a professional, a five fight win streak. All five have been stoppages and you're really looking for him to get that push to jump to the next level. We've had some local guys like Joby Sanchez get back into the UFC now. So there's a lot of up and comers. Chris Brown's making his pro debut coming up here soon, December 1st at the Jackson Wink Fight Night. We're also going to have Cody. That's going to be a nice Demacio one, huh? Page. Oh yeah, Demacio and Cody, man. Beast. Last time we saw them, Legacy, they both walked away world champions. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that's so cool. Listen, uh, you know, short round, we're going to round two, but I want you for round three, when we come back on round three, we're going to have a table discussion, open table about anything, our fights coming up, and I want to thank you for representing the combat sports in New Mexico. You know, you're a young cat, you're coming out here grinding it, I'm an old dog, I'm grinding it, but it shows the difference in generations of how we appreciate the sports, you know what I mean? We're trying because the world, like I said, and I tell you guys all the time, we got the toughest fighters in the world, bring it if you don't believe it, right? There is some great action out here, but the great thing about combat sports, and I truly believe this, because you can look from which world champion is the best in boxing, there is talent around the world, and that's what makes these sports so special. You know what? Round one, round two coming up. Thank you. Dave & Buster's is your destination for fun. Eat delicious chef-crafted food. Try sizzling favorites and new creations from our talented chefs. Drink the coolest cocktail creations. Play the hottest new games to win awesome prizes. And watch all the games in the best sports bar ever. Only at Dave & Buster's. Hoops NM Basketball Center is coming soon. Ten full courts broken into two wings for ultimate basketball and volleyball play. Locker rooms, a lounge area, a pro shop, and a full snack bar will all be a part of a great experience. Convenient parking and access will make the Hoops NM Basketball Center a premier facility for league play and competitive regional tournaments. With over 9,000 square feet, Hoops NM Basketball Center will take court sports play to another level in our community. Courts are regulation high school size with wood floors and seating for approximately 350 per court. Major sponsors and supporters are being assembled now. If you're interested, contact Dan Serrano at 505-249-7994. Send him an email, hoopsnm at aol.com. That's hoopsnm at aol.com. Hoops NM Basketball Center, a premier sports facility serving our community. Folks, there's no other way but to be all in. Either he's Lord of all or he is not Lord at all. And you can experience the real and authentic, true life change that only God can provide to humanity. See, when we truly encounter Jesus and purpose to know him and follow his teachings, 
Hashtag life change will occur. Well, I'm going to the frontier, walking to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, one scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. Meet my family, meet my friends in the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been. All of Albuquerque's favorite spot, it's the Frontier Restaurant. The Frontier Restaurant is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. It's round two. I got to tell you something, you guys. We got a great, great guest here. We have a big fight coming up uh, November 11th, and it's at the Manu Lujan building, and it's a battle uh, uh, um, for the vets, uh, for the brave, battle for the brave. And the co main event, you guys, is a tremendous, tremendous fighter. Uh, he has a record of 15 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Boom! I saw him in the amateurs. He, he represents boxing very, very well. Uh, he's just, a, it's an honor to have him at this desk. Brian La Bala Mendoza, what's up? How's it going, man? Let me see that jab, how long is it? Boom, oh <laughs> man. That, your opponent's gonna see that all night, right? All night. All night. What I love about you, champ, is that you could box and bang. Mm -hmm. Right, I saw you uh, a while back, uh, fireman, uh, the fireman, the boxing that show, yeah. and then you did another show for. You're just tremendous. Uh, you're in great shape, man. Thank How long you. you been training? For this, this fight, one. I guess technically like seven months because I don't take time off. So uh, it, I know. It's just been grinding you, it out. Grinding it out at the Fidel Maldonado Gym, mm -hmm. one of the best gyms in town, yes, right? Sir. And uh, who you been sparring? I mean, and tell us, tell us. What's up? Um, it's been over these seven months, tons of people, but um, I got some different sparring. I was able to go out to Crucis and spar A.B. Han before his fight with Oh, Jay yeah, Yama. the world champ. Yeah, and that was awesome, an awesome experience because it was something different that I haven't. Out of, out of place. Yeah, so it was cool, something to adjust to, and then so that was a big help. Um, Tim Means has been actually been helping me for this one, that tall lefty. Oh, yeah. Um, I've sparred um, another fighter on the card, uh, Christian Cabral. Oh, he's tough. You guys, yeah. you two together, yeah. that's a duo, man. Yeah. That's like Batman and Superman. You guys yeah. are tough, man. You know, great fighters. Yeah. He, what it is is he has got a great heart like you do. Mm -hmm. I mean, what drives you, man? I mean, you know, I know you want that, that, that championship, mm -hmm. and I guarantee it, yeah. folks. I'm telling you the honest truth. This is world champion caliber right here. It's going to be world champion. I'm predicting it. You know Appreciate what I mean? That. I just hope I'm old enough to be there. You know what I mean? I mean I'll have to make it happen sooner. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's messed up. He's cracking on me, but he's a boxer. <laughs> I'm not going to fight him or nothing. But yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, you, you trained with the world champion Fidel Maldonado. You mm -hmm. got him ready. Okay. And you're in his camp. You're in his corner. He didn't get the W, but those things happen. You guys don't take it personal. It's just training. Things happen. You don't get the win that night. You know, something in the in, in the in the background uh, worked for him, didn't work for him. Yeah. Now, what are you working on? You said you're training with Tim Means, mm -hmm. taller left-hander, right? So is this cat left-handed that you're fighting? Yeah, he's left-handed. How do you handle left-handers? You, you feel comfortable with that now? Um, a lot of people don't know that right, uh, left-handers are easier for me than right-handers. Why is that? Because I came up sparring Fidel Maldonado since like three, two, three times a week since I started pretty much. So it's been years and years of lefties and then every like we'll try to switch it up and go with the right-hander. So I've even noticed on when I fight fighters that, or even spar, that are um, both, they, they're lefty and righty, I'm actually adjusting faster when they're left-handed, and then when they turn right-handed, I have to stop and think for a second. So left-handers are actually easier for me. Is, uh, do you consider yourself a counter-puncher? A little of everything, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah you're like a combination plate, yeah. right? You, I, I've seen you change so many styles. I've mm -hmm. seen you, you know, I, one thing I don't see you do is play around. Yeah. That's one thing. I don't you, play with my food. <laughs> that's right. A, a great example. You don't, you don't mess around. Mm -hmm. uh, but it seems that you really enjoy 
boxing, man. I mean, you, that's your home in the ring, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, some guys get nervous, but when I see you and I call you out, you have that game face. Yeah. That's your Super Bowl. That's your World Series, yeah. man. This is all what you've been waiting for, man. Mm -hmm. How do you do you get excited? At, you know, when you're warming up, what's going through your mind? I, I like to ask boxers. You know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's game time. That's when I'm I'm zoning out. I'm just getting everything ready. And that's when you just finally know, like, all that hard work you put in. I've been doing two and three days for, for this fight especially. Um, everything's, like, you just know everything's about to pay off, so you just get oh, real man. excited. And especially now, I've had a longer layoff, so I'm dying to get You're hungry, that. man, huh? Yeah. You got to tear this cat up, man? Yes, sir. Now, are you going to rush him? Are you going to... No, it's when always, you... It's always smart. You know me. I start with my jab, like you yeah. said. Yeah. I'm a little of everything, but it, it goes back to boxing. Even... I used to say I want to be a technician before I even knew what that was. And so now, obviously, I, like, I really learned like, how to really use technique on people, set right. them up, you know, do different stuff. But your technique's beautiful, though. Yeah. You know, I work you, on that a lot, a lot. There, there's there's a lot of... There. It's getting there? Yeah. You're not t completely com uh, confident at the technique? You're still, you still got room to progress and, and, and do more? Always, yeah. I've noticed even from my, my first fights until now, the, the development in like, every aspect of my game has just been crazy because I notice I see a lot more. Everything's uh, like a lot slower now. It's not, you know, adrenaline what? rushing. Really? It's, it's like, like um, yeah, just being able to think in the eye of the storm is. Oh my God, yeah. that's right. Because in the eye of the storm, it's usually calm uh -huh. and quiet. Yeah. And everybody, uh, a few boxing fans don't understand, uh, you know, it takes a lot to get there. It takes mm -hmm. a whole team. You're in there by yourself, but you're representing all the cats. Yeah, of course. Uh, like we had that show when we had Fidel. I mm -hmm. brought you guys all on because that's the true story. Yeah. Because everybody uh, that trains with you believes in you mm -hmm. and and we believe in you and you believe in yourself that's a great ego booster I mean yeah. come on you know that's strength in itself right yeah. inner strength spiritual strength you know uh, was your dad a fighter um, not in the ring <laughs> ah that's cool I like him already yeah he yeah. grew up in Cuba so you know it's like a lot of scrapping they're not yeah. worried about getting shot and stuff like that so yeah. it's like street fights and stuff well but you know what his dad actually didn't let him box when he was little oh. and that's one of the reasons he let me because I had to beg and beg but he didn't want to be like his dad because he always wanted to box and his dad never let him so he didn't want to repeat that so he let me try it out and okay ladies Look at this handsome young man. This guy's a killer in the ring and killer with the ladies. But I guess, the reason I emphasize that is, like I've said to you before, there ain't nothing worse than a good-looking guy who can whip your butt. <laughs> you know, whoop ass. I said it, don't edit. Okay, that's from Power and Glory, the boxing team. Yeah. Listen, um, why did you do it? Why do you, why? I mean, you could pick, I mean, I know you're a baller. You play all kinds of sports. Uh, but sports must be easy for you. Is this true? I'm athletic, yeah. I'll pick up on stuff. I'm, I'm never like naturally good at one thing, but my athleticism gets me by. So I'll oh, keep, is that I'll keep playing until the other guys get tired? Yeah, <laughs> stamina. Yeah, well, like boxing, right? Yeah. You have great stamina. Mm -hmm. You know, you train in this altitude. Do you see that affect guys when you like roll into California or Vegas mm -hmm. or Florida or whatever? Like this guy is running out of steam, and when you hit him, can you hear that? <sighs> of course, that's my favorite. The body shot. Is it? Oh, don't give it away, man. You know, but uh, it's. It, if, if you don't understand, uh, boxing fans, it's very uh, you got to have technique mm -hmm. to get to that shot. Yeah. You know, just just uh, uh, I was watching watching Mickey Ward the other night, mm -hmm. and an old cat, and he's training yeah. this dude, and he's showing him how do you step because he was famous, mm -hmm. notorious for that body shot. Um, any predictions, man? Because we know a W. And oh, I'm, I'm coming to hurt this dude. Oh, I've been, I've been training for this one, so it's gonna be big. Say it again. Prediction. It's gonna be big. I'm gonna get a W and make it exciting. Oh. Oh, man, I love that. Uh, I'm the ring announcer for that fight, so awesome. I'm going to be calling you out. Listen, that's end of round two. We're coming back with round three with, with Mika and you. We're going to have a table discussion about the upcoming fight. I want to thank you so much for representing, baby, the 505. Boot again, Duke City. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, I man. mean, Duke City Sports Bar. Proud supporter of Pro View Sports and New Mexico Youth Athletics. Catch all the sports action from high school, college, pros, and MMA on one of our 35 HD TVs. Start your night off right with any selection from our delicious menu prepared with fresh, never frozen ingredients. Duke City Sports Bar, Albuquerque's newest sports bar. Located on Eubank and Montgomery, dial 505-433-4020.
Welcome back, round three. Legacy Boxing Showcase of New Mexico, you guys. Wow, what a great show. Uh, the third round is open mic uh, at the sports desk. I got uh, Micah Franco and I got Brian Labala Mendoza, who's on the big fight this weekend, you guys. I mean, on November 11th. And let me just shout it out there. It's a battle for the brave. Co-main event, you know the co-main mm -hmm. event? The main event, of course, Jason Alcancito Sanchez, you mentioned him earlier, Matthew Diamond Boy, Grego, Christian El Puma Cabral, uh, jo uh, Jordan, oh my God, Garcia, Carlos Swifty Slick Villa, Katie Dynamite Ramirez, Christian El Castigo Castillo, and Agustin El Chicano Perez. This is a stacked deck. There's, like you said earlier, there are some I'm spitting all over. There's a, there's a potential world champions on this card. Oh, definitely. You look at Jason Sanchez, what he's doing right now at 10-0, and 0, and the level of guys that he's taking out, what he did against Raymond Chacon, and now taking on a Ray Jimenez that's 16-1. and 1, That's the kind of things <laughs> that open eyes, move you up rankings, and get a, a WBA, a WBC, an IBF to recognize you in those rankings and give you one of those big opportunities. You talked about uh, Matthew Griego. He's taking on a guy, uh, I can't remember his name, Alejandro, right? I don't know. <laughs> I saw the list. He doesn't either. even know here for me. I'm looking for confirmation. But has over 50 That's okay. fights under his belt. Oh, yeah. Head. He's so yeah, that is veteran. a big deal, yeah. right? Veteran. Well, you know, that guy with 50 fights, he could, he could have been fighting tomato cans. You know what I mean? To build up a record. But you know what? He's a legitimate fighter. I'm not putting no fighters down. He earned the right. 50 fights. That's a lot of fights, man. You, who are you fighting? Uh, Josh... Charles, John, Charles, John Brian. David, Charles, I think. There you go, John David. Uh, uh, He's got me. Brian Mendoza, uh, you know what? You're just a great fighter. What, what's your aspect and perspective on this card? It's awesome, you know. Um, I'm honored to be on a card like this, be able to, you know, give that tribute, and it's just awesome to be a part of th this event. You know, finally getting back in the ring and everything, and making it a show like this. It'll be fun. Isn't he awesome? Oh, great oh, yeah. answers, but also this is a great, the second time you and Matthew back-to-back -back cards. Mm -hmm. Before, it was Rumble on the Rio, and yeah. now here, Battle for the Brave. We're honoring the police force, the military, some positive aspects in the community yes. in a time where the state, the country, the world, we all need a lot of positivity. Yeah, I love that because you know what? Uh, veterans, uh, you know, soldiers, emergency personnel, all that around the world. We're representing New Mexico uh, Battle for the Brave Veterans Weekend, you guys. That's orale, that's cool. Cool. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. that's down. Uh, I got a lot of veterans in my family, the Vietnam era and World War II, uh, my, my uncles and stuff. And I just think it's going to be an honor to be there. Uh, but you guys are soldiers in the ring, man. You guys don't play. You're going to war, right? Yeah. They're, I mean, they go to battle. It takes a, a level of bravery to be a soldier, ultimately, but also a level of bravery to step in that ring and put it on the line in front of people that are paying for violence and those expectations. Yeah, it's it's crazy, but you know what? It's uh, like I say, it's controlled chaos. Thank God they're in the ring. Uh, I just think uh, it's going to be a great show. Tickets are selling good. Real quick, uh, holdmytickets.com are selling it. Check it out, and also if you can call two four two seven four ninety two thirty nine. We got tickets. Come on down. I'll be calling that fight. You'll be in the in the ring right there doing your thing. I'll and be you right there will be like there. It. It's going to be an honor to point to you and tell you, are you lock and loaded? What you going to do when I ask you that? You go. I'm put on a show for you, man. Oh, man. <laughs> huh? Oh, are you bringing a machine gun or a bazooka? What are you bringing? Everything I got, man. Oh, full, full, full pack, huh? All of it. All of it? RPGs? Boom. You know what I mean? Everything, man. Everything, huh? Bullets. Well, you can't reveal stuff. Because he might watch it go, oh, okay, okay. You know what I mean? It don't matter, huh? Yeah. You know, because uh, you change up in the ring, you know, like yeah. a pitcher, like the World Series, they change mm -hmm. up. You you can change up immediately. You've seen him change, huh? From boxer, and then the, he decides, you know, let's go. I've seen you bang, man. You know, mm -hmm. you move so beautiful. Yeah, that's one of my things. I always work on adapting to my opponent. Like, I never really have like a true game plan on this, 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 and this. It's really just get in there, start the first round off. We have something planned, but we got to work off what we what we got in the ring. You stick to your plan, though, right? Yeah, and then we'll make it happen from there. Because you got the field general, Fidel Maldonado, in your mm -hmm. corner. Is that the field general? Yeah. He's going to watch everything, right? And then you got you know, you know got a great great team of guys that got your back. Definitely. You know, uh, what do you think of Katie and, uh, and the girls that are fighting, you know, uh, Jordan? That, that's the good. You know, we we got to expose the girl, the ladies out there. They need representation. 
you know? Mm. Little backstory. They, they try to make that fight happen in the amateurs. It couldn't come together for some reason. But then now here in the professional ranks, we're hearing it's the dynamite side that was calling for this fight. Oh. Katie called for this one. So add a little extra on top of it with that, that one. That's nice, man. That's nice. Mm. There's nothing nicer than uh, seeing the two ladies bang it out, man. I just, I just think it's fun. Uh, this is a this is a great card. It's November 11th, Battle for the Brave. We're all going to be there. Uh, any last words you'd like to say real quick? It's going to be an exciting night of fights, and you got to keep an eye on even like a Christian Castillo. 1-0 and making his second fight. Yeah. Even though we're talking about a Brian Mendoza, a Matthew Griego, a Jason Sanchez, I implore you to get out to see them because mm -hmm. you don't know when they're going to be on a bigger stage and we're not going to see them again. But you also got a Christian Castillo, who's that next, that next era of local fighter that we're going to be bringing up, that next era of prospects. I'm glad you brought that up because you know what? You're still young. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you still got time because the time frame is short, but yet you're you're right on course, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, right on course. And and you're representing New Mexico. You always represent New Mexico, just like you do. You always represent New Mexico. I think it's wonderful uh, the way we're laying it out. And I just got to say, uh, I want to thank both of you for coming on the show, Legacy Boxing Showcase of New Mexico. Uh, you predict the W, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, who's your favorite fighter on the card? Oh, I can't pick and choose. They're all hot, huh? They're all oh, great. This is that, great. I'm like, come on, we got to give it to Brian. He's right here, man. <laughs> Just you on the up. fact that he can show up to interviews on time, I, I think Brian you. gets the edge on everybody slightly. Yeah. It's those little things that count. He messed up. <laughs> I was going to say you right away, man. I said, oh, Brian, man, Brian, you know? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's me a trouble over here. Time to get trouble. That's the way we roll. Uh, listen, any last words? No, I just want to thank everybody that's bought tickets, everyone that's going to buy tickets and come out. Um, trust me, there's been seven months of training going into this. You're going to see an action-packed fight along with the rest of the card. I've even sparred uh, the kid who was talking about, Christian Castillo. The kid's tough. Um, it's From top to bottom, it's a great card. Come out. You're going to enjoy it. What's your percentage of body weight right now? Some tens, twenties. God, yeah, because you look in shape. What weight you're fighting at? 147. Oh my God, that's and you're a man. You're not a little kid no more. You're throwing that man power. Oh, you know man. what I mean? I love that. You know how they transition from amateurs and then you can see the develop. He looks, you know, this. The, he, listen, you guys think you're bad? That's a bad man right there. You know because you know all you guys that act all cool and tough and all, and all that, that. That that don't get it. You know what? A brave man gets in the ring. A warrior. I gotta tell you something. Hold my tickets for Battle for the Brave, uh, November 11th at the Manny Lujan Building. Our second fight in 20 years and we did a show in april over uh, 2200 people were there i want to thank my guests again micah franco and brian uh, bala mendoza thank you for having me yeah and and, uh, and i, I want to thank both of you for showing the world who we are i always tell you guys we got the greatest fighters in the world if you don't believe it bring it because you know what there's something about new mexico combat sports mma boxing we bad to the bone. I'll tell you that right now. Now, remember, boxing fans, stay tuned. This will be shown Friday on YouTube and then Sunday uh, on Channel 26, Legacy Boxing Showcase of New Mexico. And like I always end my shows, you know what? Boxing fans in New Mexico, keep your chin down and keep on swinging, baby. See you later. Nice, huh? Thanks.